For years, scientists have been committed to finding effective ways to mitigate the risks associated with laboratory work, where the potential for injuries is a constant concern. This ongoing pursuit of safety has led to the development of various protective measures and innovations that are designed to create a safer working environment in labs. Among these advancements, laboratory fume hoods have emerged as a critical solution. They're a specialized type of ventilation system designed to exhaust chemical fumes, vapors, gases, and dust from the lab environment. Apart from serving as a ventilation system, this device acts as a physical barrier. It protects lab personnel from inhalation exposure, chemical spills, runaway reactions, and fires. By containing and exhausting harmful contaminants, these enclosures serve as a vital line of defense, and they're significantly gonna lower the chances of inhalation exposure and subsequent health risks. The fume hood operates by maintaining a relatively negative pressure inside the hood to prevent contaminants from escaping, while consistently drawing air through the hood open. That said, different types of fume hoods offer specialized protection for various lab applications. This can range from floor-mounted fume hoods to radioisotope fume hoods, ductless fume hoods, and many more. While individual fume hoods are specialized for different functions, they do possess similar components. They're all made of sashes, baffles, light switches, airfoils, hood faces, and system airflow monitors. Similarly, these components perform the same function in all the different types of fume hoods. But amidst all these components, the sash is one of the most important parts of the fume hood. Meanwhile, its height has significant implications for both safety and performance in the laboratory setting. Properly adjusting the sash helps to maintain an optimal face velocity, which is essential for capturing and directing contaminants away from the user. On one hand, a sash that's set too high can compromise containment by allowing hazardous materials to escape. This increases the risk of exposure. But on the other hand, setting the sash too low could restrict airflow, reducing the fume hood's effectiveness and potentially leading to inadequate protection. That's why operators should be trained to adjust the sash to the recommended height for the specific tasks being performed. And signage should be clearly displayed to guide proper sash positioning. However, the recommended sash heights typically set at a maximum opening of 18 inches, and that depends on the design and manufacturer specs. This ensures that the fume hood's airflow patterns are effective in preventing contaminants from escaping into the lab environment. Depending on its design, the sash might move vertically, horizontally, or even in a combination of both. The whole point is to provide a protective barrier between the worker and the experiment or other activity.